No school on Monday. No school, school. School. <laughs> There's no school on Monday, DP. <laughs> We're all very excited here at DP News. And we've got another exciting thing happening. Less exciting, more depressing. Today is our friend Ashley Coughlin's final day. DP News starts now. At the beginning of the week, we mentioned that this and next week is No Name Calling Week. This is a nationwide movement to make our school environment, inside and outside of classes, a more supportive and safe place. Next week, the Social Equality Club will be having activities in honor of the week, so be sure to stop by the club Tuesdays at lunch. Build season is well underway for DP's robotics team. Here's a video from Engineering with some interviews of team members. All right, hi, my name is Tony, and I'm a member of the programming team for the 2015 FRC Team 1717. I'm Gavin Poe, and I'm a member of the programming team. Okay, so I'm Adam Dye, and I'm a member of the programming team for Team 1717's first robotics team. Hi, I'm Owen McKenzie. I am a member of the electrical team for this year's 2015 Team 1717 FRC team. So basically they give me like this hunk of metal with like a bunch of wires on it and then like I type some magical words into the computer and then like it moves around and stuff. It's right. pretty dank. I don't know, I work on the drive code Good. and the autonomous code. Yeah, that's what I do. I try to like get people who are being unproductive to do stuff, so that's pretty important. Anything that involves motors, wires, pistons, Anything like that, that's my job. Winning, hopefully. Cracking skulls and taking names. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to our first regional. This year, I'm probably looking forward most to the people, all the experiences that I'll have with everybody in the academy. I think it's going to be a great year. Um, just making friends, maybe some enemies, I don't know. But uh, I think it's going to be a great year just uh, as a family. Every year, the high schools in Santa Barbara and Carpinteria unite to educate the community on higher education options for AB 540 students. The 10th annual AB 540 College Night will be next week, January 29th, in the Santa Barbara High School cafeteria from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now over to a, a message from our head counselor, Scotty G. Hi, this is Scott Guttentag reporting to you from the Registrar's Office. Are you finished with DP at the end of this semester? Are you a foreign exchange student going back home? Are you changing schools? Are you moving? If you're doing any of these things and you're not going to be with us next semester, you need to be checking out of the registrar's office and you need to report to Ms. Navarez first thing on Tuesday morning the 20th. She will give you a set of exit papers that you can take around to all of your teachers to get signed out. You also need to make sure that you turn in all of your books. We will not be able to send information from Dos Pueblos to your next school if you do not check out appropriately and if you do not return all your books and pay all your debts. If you have any questions about this, you can see your counselor or also check with Ms. Navarez in the registrar's office. But again, please make sure that we have a parent's note or a parent in person telling us that you are officially allowed to be checking out of our school. This must happen on Tuesday the 20th. Thank you and have a great day. Friendly reminder, DP, that next week is finals and there will be no late start schedule on Wednesday and Thursday. Repeat, there will be no late start on Wednesday and Thursday, DP. Get it right, get it tight. There are some exciting new nutrition opportunities coming up. Here's an announcement from some members of the Nutrition Task Force. Hi, my name's Tim. I'm Will. And I'm Ethan. And we wanted to inform you about new nutrition kiosks that are available. The locations are near the H wings and the B wings. Also, um, for all of you guys who need community service hours, uh, by working in the cafeteria, you can earn uh, service for your time spent. Stop to Roxanne and we can get that sorted out for you. Thank you. 
Have a great day. Thank you. The Morp Dance will be held on Friday, January 30th from 8.30 to 11 in the cafeteria after the basketball game. There will be a DJ, a photo booth, a back black light, and plenty of glow sticks, so be sure to wear white or neon. Tickets will cost $5 with a charger card, $8 without a charger card, and $10 at the door. Hello, Chargers. We're here to talk to you about tonight's big game. Santa Barbara High School Dons are coming to town tonight in our gym, 7 p.m. Be there. And if you're not a Charger, step aside. Three things to keep in mind for tonight, Dos Pueblos. One, if you're a senior, wear your senior shirts or tank top. Second thing, every other student, wear white. Third thing, get rowdy, stay rowdy. SB's coming off a big loss, so let's take it to them while they're down and show them what we're all about. And good luck to all the players tonight. Let's go, beat SB. Well, DP, it's, uh, it's been an interesting day. It's almost the last day of the semester. We've got one more show left. And uh, just a few things I'd like to, uh, like to go out on. First of all, it's our uh, lovely director of photography's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Ethan Coster. Uh, just wanted to let him know. Uh, also, uh, in case you didn't hear me say it earlier. Stay strong. Just give me, okay. okay. It's Ashley's last day, and here at DP News, we want to thank her, and we will proudly miss her. Now over to Ashley with her last show of sports ever. Good morning, DP. I'm Ashley Coughlin giving my last sports report. Tuesday, girls' water polo took on Buena and defeated them 21 to 5. Wednesday, the girls took on rival San Marcos and lost in a tough game 10 to 6. The girls also took on Laguna Beach last night, one of the best teams in our section, and lost 18 to 5. The girls will be in a tournament today and tomorrow. Their first game today is at noon, so come on out at lunch and support girls' water polo. Girls' soccer played Santa Barbara on Tuesday and won 3 to 2, making them 2 and 0 in league. Great job, girls! Boys Soccer also took on Santa Barbara on Tuesday and defeated the Dons 1-0 with Pablo Montablo's goal. The boys are also 2-0 in league. Girls Basketball played Ventura on Tuesday night and were defeated 54-34. Better luck next time, girls. Wrestling also took on Ventura on Tuesday night and defeated the Cougars for the first time in eight years. Way to go, boys. Tonight, Boys Basketball takes on Santa Barbara High at 7 tonight in our gym for one of the biggest games of the season. I know I will be there, and so should you. That's all I have for you today, DP. See you all tonight at 7 in our gym. Oh, oh. Tears, DP. <laughs> Tears. Is it still recording?